In this tutorial, I'll walk you through creating a custom item using existing game assets. Let's jump right in. First, download and install the GEC. When it opens, you'll see several panels. The object window for items, weapons and MISC objects. The render window that previews the world or the interior cell you're editing. And the cell view window to pick specific world spaces and interiors. You don't need to worry about these right now, as first we need to load the master file. Click the little folder icon in the top left corner. In the data dialog, double click falloutnv.esm, that's the main game data file, and press OK. You may need to uncheck the other data files, as we needed to here. GEC will now load every object and cell in the game, which might take a minute or two. It might not look like anything is happening, but be patient and the files will load in. After loading finishes, head to the object window. Browse the category of the item you want to base yours on. This could be weapons, armor, miscellaneous, etc. For this tutorial, we'll choose this weapon. Right click your chosen item and select edit. Before we change any parameters, we'll simply change the name of the item. For this tutorial, we'll call it my new weapon one so it's easy to find. Once we change the name and press OK, we'll be asked if we want to make a new item, which we do. By doing it this way, it creates a copy so you don't overwrite the original. Right click your new item and press edit to open the properties window. We can now start editing stats to our liking. Make this subtle or go wild. This is where your creativity can really shine. We'll change the name, the damage, the amount of projectiles fired, and the value of the weapon. But you can do a lot more, such as weight, clip size, fire rate, critical damage, projectile type and impact effect, repair items, skill requirements, or sound effects. Click OK when done and confirm saving the changes. So we've got our new weapon built into the game code, but how are we going to access it? Next, let's put the item somewhere players can find it. In the cell view window, click the drop down next to world space and choose a location. We'll pick wasteland and good springs for this weapon, but you could pick an interior like GS General Store 2. Double click the desired cell to load it in the render window. Now, drag your custom item from the object window and drop it into the render window. Use arrow keys, scroll wheel or shift and mouse to adjust the angles and placement until it looks perfect. We'll place our weapon inside this wagon to find later. Ready to discover your new creation? Finally, go to File and Save. Choose a name for your plugin file, like mynewitem.esp. When you launch Fallout New Vegas, open the Game Launcher, click Data Files, and check your new .esp mod. Start the game, travel to the location you place the item, and enjoy what you made. Now that you've got your new item working in your game, you'll probably want to share it with the world. And Nexus Mods is the perfect place to do so. To upload your mod to Nexus Mods, simply head to the website and press upload and follow the instructions. Soon your mod will be downloaded by people all over the world. And that's it. You just created a custom Fallout New Vegas item using existing assets, no modeling required. If this helped you, hit like and leave a comment with some of your crazy item ideas and subscribe for the best modding content and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy modding!